Welcome back to Two Cool Guys, Two Hot Picks. We were off for a couple of weeks, but guess what? We're back. Here's Mark from Legion of Comics with his hot pick for this upcoming new comic book day. What's up, Comic Army? I'm Mark from Legion of Comics, and today my hot pick for this coming week is going to be... Jurassic League from DC Comics, and this is from none other than the storytelling master, Daniel Warren Johnson. I'm so excited for this. I know on the surface it sounds absolutely crazy, Jurassic League, right? But basic concept here, you take the Justice League, you take dinosaurs, you throw those two things together, you sprinkle in Dark Side, and you add Daniel Warren Johnson to get a guaranteed emotion-filled roller rock and sock em action thrill ride. This is going to be so much fun. I can't even begin to describe it. And I haven't even read it yet. I just, it's a for sure thing. Daniel Warren Johnson has wrote in masterpieces like Murder Falcon. He did Wonder Woman, Dead Earth. He's a phenomenal storyteller. I'm sure a lot of people read his Beta Ray Bill run recently, but I'm expecting that by issue three of this, we're not even going to be seeing dinosaurs anymore when we read it. We're going to be looking straight through to the core of these characters that he's going to map out and lay out in a very unique way that uh, only he can do. So I highly recommend this. The basic story concept is, like I said, it's the Justice League. It's dark side, but in a way that we've never seen them before. There are a couple of awesome variants to choose from. Daniel Warren Johnson does have that A cover, but there's also a B cover cardstock by Juan uh, Gideon. And then there is a 1 in 25 incentive by none other than Walt Simonson. So there are a few to choose from. This is only six issues, so you don't have to really invest heavily financially to get a fine, uh, fantastic story. And if you've never read Daniel Warren Johnson, I'm sure that this would be a great starting point. The only downside is he's not doing the interiors. The interiors are going to be done by this person right here, who uh, I'm, I'm horrible at butchering names. So I'll just leave it at that. Juan Gideon is the artist and cover artist. Mike Spicer is on the colors now that i'm looking at it and mike spicer is a regular uh, who works with daniel warren johnson often so uh yeah definitely check this out let's kick it back over to chris and see what he's doing great pick mark hello everyone my name is chris the comic vet hope this video finds you safe and well well it's a beautiful day here in ontario canada so i decided to do it old school and fill from my car. Anyways, my hot pick for this upcoming new comic book date comes from Boom Studios and The Mind of Stephanie Phillips. It is grim number one. When a young girl is murdered, uh, she quickly becomes recruited by the Grim Reaper to become a Reaper to help people transition from the afterlife to where they're supposed to be going. Uh, along the way, she's quickly finding out she has no idea what caused her dem demise. <laughs> While other Reapers know what caused their deaths, Jessica has no idea why or how she ended up passing away. And the only way she can find out is by communicating directly with the Grim Reaper. But the question is, where is the Grim Reaper? I've been looking forward to this book for a while. There was actually a Jenny Frizen variant cover that that kind of caught my eye. Now, this one is actually going to be a little bit hard to get. I believe it is a ratio. Either way, there are some terrific uh, variant covers for Grim Number 1. It is going to be my hot pick for this upcoming new comic book day. So on behalf of Mark and myself, have a great new comic book day. And remember, we are Legion. <laughs>